Weep can export schematics and results to Google Earth. Let's see how it works. From the schematic view, go to the menu Schematic, Save Schematic to File, and select the file type Google Earth. Give the name you want to save the file to. KMZ is the Google Earth's file type extension. And then choose if you want to save in vector or raster format. A raster format will be just a single image of the whole schematic, whereas vector format will save an individual Google Earth element for each WEEP object such as demand sites, reservoirs, groundwater nodes, or rivers. You can also include in the Google Earth file the note describing the area. Let's look at the Weeping River note, and let's add a little description about the different scenarios. OK, and let's save to Google Earth. Weep goes through each element, creates it in the KMZ file, adds the notes, and then it'll open it up in Google Earth. Here we can see the Weeping River Basin is actually in Massachusetts. Let's hide the legend to make it a little easier to see. And here we have the description for the full area, Weeping River Basin. If we click on that, we can see the information we just added about the different scenarios. These descriptions can actually include any HTML formatting codes you want, including links and images. Let's try adding some more information to the note for South City. Let's go into the data view for South City, and let's add a note describing it. Here we have a link for a Wikipedia entry for South City and an image file. Let's go back and save this now. And you can see here we have an, uh, an option to include the object notes. So if we uncheck that, it would not include, include any notes we've saved for each different object. Let's overwrite the file we had. Now, if we open up South City, we see the photograph we added. South City on the shores of the Weeping River. If you click on this link, it will take you to the Wikipedia entry for South City. Let's go back to Google Earth. Finally, I'd like to show how you can save results to go along with your schematic. Let's go to the results view, and then to the map tab in results view. Here we've selected to show return flow links, stream flow, supply requirements, and transmission link flow on the map. As you can see, as we move around from month to month, we can see how the thickness of the lines change and also the numbers associated with each element uh, indicate the results. From that weep simulation. This is for a given scenario. Here are the reference scenario. We can look at different scenarios as well. So to save this as a movie, an animated movie into Google Earth, go over here and save as. And now we make sure vector format is not checked because we want to save as individual frames of a movie. These would be raster. We can animate over time. We select the begin and end times for the, the movie and then how much detail to include. Click Save. Now you can see in the background, Weep is rendering each frame of this movie, different time step, and then exports it to Google Earth. Let's hide the legend again. So now we see a raster image. We can zoom in. And up here we have a time scale. Click the Play button. And now we'll step through the time and actually show the results changing in the Google Earth window. You can zoom in to see more detail and zoom out. This is an excellent way to give a, a quick idea of how one scenario's values will change over time. Finally, let's investigate showing results for each individual element. Go to the Scenario Explorer. Currently, it's showing charts for supply requirement, reservoir storage volume, unmet demands, and groundwater storage. Let's add a few more charts. Let's add transmission link flow and stream flow. In 
finally return link flow. Then we click the save, save button. So what WEEP is doing now is going through every element, every demand site, every groundwater node, every reservoir. And for those charts which we've selected here in the Scenario Explorer, it's creating a separate chart for each WEEP object. So each of the six WEEP demand sites in the Weeping River Basin will have a separate chart detailing uh, both supply requirements and unmet demands across scenarios for that one demand site. In Google Earth, we can click on each object and see the charts associated with it. Let me hide the legend again. And because I've made this window small for this demo, let me hide this sidebar to give a little bit more room. So if we look at Industry East, for example, we can see here supply requirement, Industry East for the four different scenarios. If we scroll down, we can also see the unmet demand for the four different scenarios. You can see reference is by far the largest unmet demand at this one demand site. If we look at North Reservoir, we can see the reservoir storage volume, again, at North Reservoir across the four different scenarios. West Aquifer, we can see declining groundwater levels in all but the integrated measure scenario. We even look at stream flow. So that summarizes how WEEP can export schematics and results to Google Earth, which can be a powerful way to summarize the results from your scenario.